Hey everybody, what's good, Water Chad here. Um, back from a long work trip, two weeks worth of uh, traveling, Lakeland, Florida, uh, Orlando, Cincinnati, Philadelphia, Zurich, Switzerland, Friedrichshafen, Germany, back to Zurich, Dublin, Chicago, back home. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, it's time to get back to work on the uh, tugboat. Uh, this is really cool. Check this out. I saw this at uh, Disney Springs a couple of weeks ago. I finished Micro Tug 9 with a, I think it's either 15 or 25 horse outboard on it. Um, really cool. First time I've ever seen one like in the wild finished. Uh, I did talk to the dock, uh, the dock crew there at Disney Springs that operate the boats. And uh, they said that that boat performs great. They just, they love it um, with one or two people on board. With that much power, it actually does get on plane and it's quite fun. Uh, but I talked to them about mine a little bit, you know, told them, showed them pictures, the status of everything. I thought it was pretty cool just to have a, a trolling motor on it uh, to keep it in displacement mode and just kind of uh, piddle around on the lake. So <laughs> it's kind of fun talking to those guys. Uh, but anyway, um, back to uh, get back to work on things here. I'm gonna start with the trailer, finishing, finishing things up here. The uh, tongue of the trailer got welded while I was gone uh, by my neighbor's friend, and it turned out fantastic. This guy is a just an excellent, excellent welder. Very, very nice. So uh, I'm gonna get this painted, uh, get it primed and then painted. Hopefully I can kind of match this color red uh, if it doesn't turn out the way I want it to, I'll just paint it black. Uh, get it painted and then uh, figure out how to get it mounted. Um, I think I'll prime it first and then get it fitted and then drill holes and then paint after I have the holes drilled. So clean it up and uh, get some primer put on this thing. Okay, I've got it all primed and set in place about where I want it. Actually, not about where I want it, exactly where I want it right down the middle. So I'm gonna clamp the little ears against the, the uh, trailer, and then I'll drill those two holes across uh, to get those marked. And then once those are drilled, then I will unclamp that and drill some holes uh, back there for bolts to connect those two. The only thing I'm not sure about yet, what I'm gonna do here is you see when this is actually in place where it should be, which is right there. Pretty decent gap. I don't really know. My plan was to put two bolts through there, but I'm not so sure that's gonna work at this point. So uh, unless I put a plate in between the two, which I don't have, but it can always be installed at some point. But that's my plan. I'm gonna get that clamp back there and then drill those two holes. Got the bolts through uh, the front part here, and then I got the holes drilled, and just some temporary uh, 3 8 bolts to kind of line things up. So now I'm gonna take it all apart, and I'll widen those holes out to uh, the correct metric size for the those little bolts there, and then paint it all red. And then I'll work on getting the uh, trailer jack mounted, the coupler, and then winch. We'll go up here. All right, update time. It's now the next day. I did not have time to do what I wanted to do last night, but uh, I did get the tongue mounted to the trailer. First of all, got it all painted. Drilled all the holes, got it mounted. I just installed the jack stand, 
it will fold forward. So the wheel's gonna come up near the coupler uh, and it will clear everything, no problem. So happy with that. It's mounted as far forward as I could mount it, right up into the, uh, uh, the acute angle of the triangle there. But uh, this is looking really, really good. I think I also have a plan on how to secure tongue to the cross member there using a couple of extra plates that actually came with the trailer by accident. They gave me two bags of hardware and there's two plates in there that I think will probably work. So I'll do that. The winch, which is right here, will go right here. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Although I don't really need it right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. Get that done and get the coupler installed. And then the trailer will be done. And then I can concentrate on going back to work on the uh, tugboat to get the fiberglass done on the sides. Still a little chilly out right now, so it's too cold to fiberglass anyway. So working on the trailer has been good to uh, get things done. Do need to do a little touch up paint. Just noticed a little, little scuff there, a little scuff down there. So got a tiny little bit of red paint left right over there. So I'll touch that up, get the winch installed, get the coupler installed, and then I'm gonna remove the guides and put some plastic between the tugboat and the trailer so that I can fiberglass and paint. Actually, you know what, I might take the, after I'm done fiberglassing, I probably will take the tugboat off the trailer and put it back on jacks so I can get it painted. But uh, that's the status of, as of right now. Hopefully uh, later today, I'll have the winch on and the coupler done. And just wait for a little bit warmer weather to start fiberglassing. So before I get to drilling the holes for the winch, you will notice that the tugboat has a new position in the garage. That is because the Lund was sold this morning, going down to a very nice lady in Grays Lake, Illinois. I wish Carrie the very best. I won't say her last name, but I wish Carrie the very best in uh, enjoying the Lund as uh, she launches it onto the, the lake that she lives on this year. So now I'm going to start working on getting the winch installed. I've got two holes marked out right here. I'm going to take my electric drill and drill those two holes. Just uh, pilot sized holes. And then I will come back in and open those up to 3 8 for the bolts that we'll use. <sighs> Always something. The bit sheared off inside the chuck. It's down there on the floor. Alright, so I cut out a little section there because it's not really necessary to hear all the language that was used. Here's the 600 pound winch. Winch? Wench? Winch. That I'm going to install. Last update for today, I am uh, going downhill fast. My This cold that I think I picked up from traveling is probably gonna get worse and I'm probably pushing it too hard right now. So, But I did get the, uh, the winch installed. Um, I found a bolt that I'll use to put through that hole or that hole there to attach the strap. And after a bunch of fighting with the coupler, I finally got it in place. So it's bolted on nice and centered and uh, ready for operation. So everything's looking really good. The only thing left for the tongue is the strap and the uh, plate that's gonna go there. I could not find the correct size U-bolts today. So I'll have to keep shopping around for those. I think I know a place that has them, but I'll check that out here in the next couple days. So here's how it looks until uh, 
next time. This isn't the end of this video, but whatever. I will conclude this video with this update. Uh, the winch is installed with the strap. However, the strap is actually too long and I'm getting chafing on this bolt down in there, that bolt right there. So I'll use it to begin with. I think this is a 20 foot strap. I probably need a 15 foot strap. So lesson learned there. Um, I also installed the safety chains, uh, just a bolt going through. It mushroomed a little bit when I tightened it up. The uh, washer, that's all right. It's nice and tight. So safety chains are in place. Coupler's done, jack's done, winch is done. It will connect to the eye bolt here after that gets installed, after I fiberglass. Here's what I did with the U-bolts uh, over, the, over the tube. You can see, I'm missing uh, nuts on the back U-bolt. Uh, just ran short, so got to run to the store, get a couple of nuts, but otherwise, that worked out great. The plate um, fit the gap perfectly here, and then I used the second plate on the bottom to secure that. So this is, all things considered, done. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, this is episode 30, I believe, and I'll be back for more next time. Uh, probably, if it's warm enough this weekend, it's supposed to be in the 60s and 70s. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do some sanding and um, see if I can get the, the sides fiberglassed so it'll be ready to paint. I'm going to have to have some help from my neighbors to move the tugboat off the trailer back onto jack stands after I sand it. But with the trailer complete, I can now move the tugboat out into the driveway, complete all the sanding, and then we'll put it back in and uh, get ready for fiberglass. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Happy boating.